it's like to be in love. Hey, tell me what it's like to feel protected when you hug. I've been feeling like I'm stuck. I'm so stubborn when it come to feelings. Do I love or do I lust and just enjoy the feeling? Trust me, it's a different See, I'm always gonna protect my heart. But when it's love, it's no protection. Can't just give them parts. You give your all and if you don't, then you just make it hard. But when it's lust, forget the problems. Just come get me hard. This how we leave our women scarred. The lust create a soul tie. Do men and women approach new relationships the same? Yeah. Thank y'all for joining us back again. Before we went to break, we went to break talking about, um, what did we go to break talking about? (laughs) (laughs) We were talking about um, if the gentleman is done experiencing everything he wants to experience. If guys have experiences they want to uh, take part in prior to committing. Well, I think there's, there's something to that. And that's why I think uh, what Tinder said is very important, the seasonality of the gentleman that we're speaking with. And of the you know, let f- me yeah. start looking. Let me and, look up and, some of my own words I threw out here today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure seasonality is a word. Um, I'm going for it. Come on, we're going to create. So I said one a day, and I was like, wait a minute. Is, is that, that a word? word? But I'm going to let it. I think, this is the like she said, the season of whatever the young man or young woman is in is slightly different. Now, I would definitely say this. If you are slightly younger, I'm going to say our our audience. My word was a word. Your word okay. Now you said seasonality. Seasonality. I'm okay. 87% sure that's a word. Um, that if you are a little on a younger, longer slide of that scale, um, I think there's a maturity difference sometimes. And I think that's why younger ladies, like in their. Beautiful, Kane. Oh, there we go. Growing. Um, <laughs> young ladies, if you in your low 20s, mid 20s. I think this is why you see young ladies that age sometimes prefer slightly older men because the young men their age, they might be trying to get to a quota and <laughs> their their priorities are different. I think that we as young women in, in our 20s, I think we try to settle down too fast. I don't think any woman should be trying to settle down in her 20s. Mm, I think you have a, a, a strong point there. So you know what? I, I, I used to say that, but here's, here's I disagree. Okay. I know this doesn't have anything to do with today's topic, but since we're here, it kind of does, actually. Men and women date different because, yeah, so anyway, I'm all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so here's why I say I disagree. Um, what I have experienced in, in um, my, my adulthood of dating, I think it's much easier and it's better to settle in young because y'all can grow together. Y'all can build together. What I have found, and y'all tell me how y'all feel about this, the people that I the people that I see for the most part that have been together since you know, let's just say mid twenties on up, you know, they've they've grown together, they've built together. When you wait later in life, you come with more baggage. You do come with more baggage, more mm-hmm. disappointment, more trust issues. But you also come with a level of maturity and experience. And I think you can. And I I I I, I feel that. You're going to mature either way or you're not going to mature either way. That's so, true. You know, so it's like, um, I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 that's just my opinion. I think it's, I think it's better. I think it's great. If, if, if you can find somebody and y'all are on the same page mentally for the most part at that age, you know, foundationally, morally, um, if those things line up, I, I think got a strong case it can be a great thing but Mm -hmm. i think that as young women i think that we try to lock down too soon i think that we go in with the expectation that he's my man and now we have to build this future when he may not really be the one and we're not okay at the we don't understand in our 20s that listen this dude may not be the one for you this may not be the end all be all but you trying to lock this one in because he's the one you have no yeah. Just because he the one you with ain't don't mean he's the one for you. Yeah. And no, I think I that we as young women, I think we search for it immediately. Okay, yeah. this is who I'm with. And then we try to hold on to it. And we hold on to it and create toxic situations when mm-hmm. we need to know when to, when to fold them. Yeah. No, I agree with that. And I, I think also, I feel that, you know, young men should be taught at a young age to, you know, find a nice woman and build with her. Because you can get more together than you can 
separately. And and then that way it's not the, the, the woman, the young lady that's trying to turn, you know, this man into a husband. Because they we, they try too hard in the twenties, it'd be like, Oh, he mine and you ready to fight people and all this is going on when no, he's. I mean, he don't want to be yours, and it's he don't okay. Want to be nobody's, <laughs> right? Like, right, and, and, and it's okay. That's okay if that's what he wants. Yeah. Right, let him want that, and you have to make your decision as a young lady. Hey, and set you those boundaries. Like it's not time to lock down. It's okay to quit him. It's okay. He said, "Quit him. Well, quit him. Well, be one on the team. What? You, make your choice. No, quit him. <laughs> be one on the quit team. him." <laughs> Quit him. That's what we will not be. Is hey, one on the team. ladies, you quit can, him. She can be one on the team. She, she, she might. He might be one on her team. You yeah. don't know how that's Pain, going. Is this what you're promoting? No, I'm today. not saying. And we're not promoting that. What we're saying is everyone has freedom of choice. Choose, choose wisely, but be aware what you're choosing. Yeah, and I, I get what he's saying though, because he is saying like if you choose to st- to stay, and you know that he's not trying to be with you and only you. You're making a choice to be one on the team. That's true. That, the, and, and, but I think what happens is many times, and I've seen this more than, on more than one occasion, young men, they, they've they expressed this. They've let you know, oh, yeah, no, nah, I ain't doing that with nobody right now. Oh, I'm specifically not doing it with you. Right. And they stay around thinking, I'm going to change his mind by doing, no, you're not. Right. You're not about, you're not about right. to change his mind. It's and he's happen. bold enough to tell you this. Be bold enough to set your own boundaries and say, "Well, you want well because of this. Here's where I stand. Mm-hmm. It's cool to still be cool with him, to but but be cool with him to where it doesn't violate your violate uh, your boundaries based on what he said. Because if he said it, believe him. Yeah. Believe him. Well, not everything he said. <laughs> But, but if he stuff, say he don't want to, he don't want to be in a relationship. Oh, believe that's what. Believe it. that. Believe that with your your spirit. Believe man. that. Don't <laughs> with your spirit, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't be thinking, girl. He just saying that now. Uh uh-uh, uh. Wait no. till I show him this. No, <laughs> no. no. He never had it like this. Right, okay. right. Girl, bye. He, he loves me. Sunday. Okay, and he love right <laughs> and. <an> <laughs> Right, and he love her Pulled too. Up to and your he place. Loves, and it, even if it's not anyone else, it may not even be anyone else. Facts. But it's just that it's not you. Not you. You're like, and, and, and that's the one thing. And I'll say this: I'm gonna give away secret, ladies. Men, if he going with that, well, you know, I don't, I don't really, try, I ain't trying to. I, I, I blank you. I love you, but I ain't trying to just be locked down right now. Purple, red, and green flag. That, not green. <laughs> yeah, Pink. not green. Pink, red, bright Yellow, orange. Yellow, bright orange, amber, whatever. Uh, Flaming. He is not You're picking flaming. you. It's not that <laughs> It's not that he don't want to be settled down. He don't want to be settled down with you. Right. It is not like, oh, well, he just don't want to settle down. Yeah, I'm just, you know, when he get a little old. No, 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 no. He don't want to settle down with you, sis. Yeah. It's not he don't want to settle. Because as... Because men want to be settled down too, as much as it seems like, oh, the brothers just want to be. Nah, bros want to settle down too. But, like, if he messing with you and he's not talking about that settle down and to making future plans mm-hmm. within a certain. It's you. Mm-hmm. I, I hate you. It's you. It's, it's you. not that. It's not him. It is you. It he's is not you. picking you for that assignment. Yeah. Don't. You haven't missed the assignment. You haven't been chosen for that assignment. Right. And it's don't. Oh, that's, that's harsh but true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, but that's okay. Yeah, that is okay. Like, like Tinder said, it's, maybe it's time to set a boundary and move to a different place. You know, be by yourself like for a minute. Like yeah. you, like you say sometimes, Taja, just let that sink sit down in some water, let it soak, <laughs> <laughs> just let it cool off. Soak that thigh. <laughs> and you'll be all right. You will be. You come back. You know, come back into the game. You know, ready to play again. It just, just that just you wasn't your that just that just wasn't your team. That was okay. Like just <laughs> go, just go sit down. And it's okay. We have to learn to accept the fact that he may not even be the one. Okay, learn, ladies. We need to learn that early. He may not even be the one. Don't quit. We need to quit trying to make people the one that ain't the one. Man, so that goes into that. Do men and women approach? dating the same because it depends I don't, think, I don't think we do i think like you said tinder i think women we approach a, a, a new situation we just meet them and we be like okay we we be ready to be all in whereas with men i don't know how long that whole dating phase lasts 
But I would venture out to say that the dating phase for a man lasts way longer for them than it does for a woman. I believe for a woman, we we in a relationship. We together now. We go together. We go together. (laughs) And don't let... You know, some fluids have been exchanged. Oh, because we really go together. You, you mind. We locked <laughs> in. And Ooh. so, and for a man, <laughs> y'all like, okay, well, I got that off the box. Let me see. Let me wait. Can I, can I deal with it? Can I not? You know, this is this is the kind of I don't even have to work that hard no more. Whatever. You can say, you can stay, you can go and go. I done did what I had to do, and I'm, I'm cool. You now, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that that is a strong, that is, a, I would say, majority of how men work now. When you got to work in the opposite way, and I've seen this, where dudes like, oh, he thinks she's special, but she ain't really feeling him. But he like, oh, no, you it. Yeah. <laughs> run, sweetie, run, block him, block him, block, him. block him here, block him there, block him everywhere, because them brothers is dangerous. Because <laughs> when they like, no, you mine now. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you got to hold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't. You didn't done something to him that hadn't been done before. I don't know what you didn't done, but don't do it no more. And tell him no because I've seen that where like dudes, dudes who do that, I'd be worried about like, ooh man. Um, Sitting outside your bushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd have had out. one hiding in the bushes. Jumping out from behind. Who this? Across the street. That's that's scary. <laughs> yeah. So like, it's it's slightly different when women are possessive. A little too early it's kind of mm, mm, that's gonna be bad when dudes do it ooh nine one and just hold the phone because <laughs> you just don't know like you like don't don't because when i'm saying that like all jokes aside don't play with that don't play with it if for you real. see that amber flag ladies that oh yeah i'm 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 giving you no that's commitment. my love commitment yeah. i'm not giving you no real anything but you just stuck and can't leave and you won't go nowhere no, you might have to go ahead and go and cut that off. So let me ask y'all this, and um, think about this, we, and then we're going to take a quick break. So we, we, we're talking about when a guy, or a female, because it goes both ways, when they don't want to commit after a certain amount of time. So should it be, do y'all think there should be a certain amount of time where you do commit? Like, is it the such thing as too soon? You just meet somebody. You know, y'all met on Monday. Like, how long should you give that person? Oh, you're talking like 90 day fiance type stuff? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, well, that's people my show. Them, you <laughs> like that show. I love those because you like, they just, all right, we will be married in these 90 days. Like, woo, boy. Yeah, so it's like, what are you getting yourself into when you, you know, should there be, do y'all think there should be a time frame? Like, okay. You, you haven't committed after this amount of time or we're not going to commit into this amount of time. Do you need to see something before you say, okay, we're together, we're committing? Or, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I think you, I think there should be we some. Gonna go, we're going to go, we're okay. going to take a break. I want y'all to think about that. Okay. We're going to go to break. Listen, if y'all are just tuning in, y'all listening to Uncut Uncensored. Also, again, um, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I can't get my words out. That's on YouTube at Relationship Talk, Uncut Uncensored. Um, as I was saying, if you're just tuning in, we are talking about do men and women approach new relationships the same way? Or um, is there a different approach? So we'll be back. And um, thank y'all for tuning in. We coming back? Uh, but, don't, but don't count on it. You okay. at the six month mark, you might be like, "Oh, I knew her at month one." You know, mm-hmm. uh, don't start. I'm too old. Six months. Six yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. And then you start seeing that. Yeah. 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 Well, I y'all agree. Y'all just tuning in. Um, we got Third Eye Productions chiming in on the mic. So can you can you speak into the mic with that? So we t- so again we went to break, and the question that I put out there. Is should there be a time frame? Is there such thing as too soon before mm-hmm. you just meet somebody and you're like, okay, she mine, he mine? And how long should you give a person before you claim and say, okay, we together, this is exclusive? Um, Rafiq, Third Eye Productions, get on the mic. What you say? <laughs> you gotta come a little loud. Oh, wait a minute, I may not have that mic on my back. Go ahead. You good now. 
said it's a minimum of six months before you really know somebody. Okay, so a minimum of six months. Not well, not well. I'm thinking maybe it can be up to six months. Up to six months before you really see that person for who they are. But um, as far as being exclusive, you can be exclusive prior to that six months. Oh time. yeah. Um, but saying like like putting a ring on it and saying okay now this is what we getting ready to do for the rest of our lives yeah you might want to make wait that time out but so, you can be exclusive because that helps you see that person too that's true um, when you're when you're trying to as Kane said before collect data yeah about this person and then make your decision but have honest conversations based on the direction of the relationship don't I mean don't I mean for real be honest gentlemen be honest ladies be honest and then that way you can't say. Um, she can't hear. She can't say that you led them on. You have honest conversation. Like I really don't know where we are right now. I really like you, but I feel like I need to see more. I, I don't want to run dive right into this. I need to see more. Well, what you need to see? I just need to see you more. I just need to see where we going. Can we revisit this? Can we? Can we come back to this conversation in five or six months and see where we are and see if because you don't know if you've seen all of me and everything you need to see in me before we move in that direction. But I think it takes time for a person to really show you who they are. Yeah, I believe definitely it takes a minimum time frame to see somebody. But I think like for exclusivity before you say, oh, we are exclusively seeing each other. I believe it's a minimum I would say like maybe two month period, maybe roughly. And I would say it depends on the activity in that two month too. That's what I'm saying. Cause like you, you might, de- <laughs> cause how, how much time and how much quality time have you been able to spend with this person in that, in that time frame? If you have a decent amount of time frame, eh, you could go ahead and say, all right, it's, I mean, it's just I feel us. like it's based on, on, on the, on the person and where they are in their lives. And yeah. it, it, I might say it on date one. <laughs> like you, we we together. Don't I go mean, nowhere. we might we might right. agree to that on date one. Like I mean, I might be feeling him. He might be feeling me. And we might say okay, date one. But it doesn't change the fact that I still need to see who you are before oh, I yeah. make a greater commitment. And I would say this: like there, there, depending on where you are, what your season is in life at that given moment, I believe there are certain boundary lines that you should hold off until. Until you've done these certain to a timeline, like I would say, if you have your own children that you live with in the house, I would say at least minimum you should see this person six months before you introduce your children to them. Minimum, like yeah. before you introduce your children to this is so and so person. At least l- I like that idea because you have to see know them for who they are. You have I like to. that. You, if I you like have, that. When you bring in other people into play here, right? Because yeah. now this is affecting someone besides yourself. So um, don't be like, "Oh, let's have all the kids together and do something together at at you know on the third date." No, no, don't do that. That's not cute. You think that's not cute? No, don't do that. <laughs> and think it's, it's, and it's not cool. I, I think you know when you are older and maybe your kids are grown. You approach new relationships a little bit different because. Oh, who cares? Them grown kids saying <laughs> you don't got no vote. You well, <laughs> you I mean, <laughs> they kind of. You can talk. Them <laughs> grown kids. Now, I don't know who worse, the grown kids or the young kids. But <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't figure it out, Tasha. I can't figure them it out. grown kids got a lot to say now. Them grown kids got a lot to a say. A lot to say. They got yeah. a big opinion about they the situation. Have a very big opinion. And very honest. You just just no filter. Ooh, the just things say my anything. sons told. Told me are about you, my dating life. Are you just gonna no anybody? filter. Just right. Say anything just to you. My oh, son okay. told me one time, Ma, he is the <laughs> don't the, say it. Don't, don't. the weirdest guy I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but he treat me kind. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna stick beside him. He treat me. He treat me kind. I like weird. Them grown kids. Oh, well, them I grown kids. Listen, I don't know. But so what I was saying is that. You know, when you get older and you and, and your kids are grown, that's why I started to say, I don't know, sometimes it don't matter if your kids are grown, as I stated before. You know, you approach it a little bit different yeah. because, you know, the, the setup is different. However, what we talking about in terms of when you got younger kids, Oof. you know, you, you got to protect your babies. I, you got to protect the babies. I, I'm a, y'all probably not going to like what I'm about to say, but I think that when you have younger kids, 
because you're not really spending that much time with if you are a present parent mm-hmm. anyway um it's just not enough time i think a, a, at least a year before you even bring them around the kids I, um i'm not i'm not mad at that tasha i'm not mad at that because at this point because because chi- children are extreme they are way smarter than we give them credit for at times, yeah. and they figure stuff out really quickly. They like, like they because mm. yeah. Ooh, I'm trying to say <laughs> something without saying something, but yeah. I'll, I'm gonna just say this small piece. Yeah. Like I remember some person that I was seeing, and we both had you know, when we both waited for a minute, mm-hmm. you know, before we introduced children to each other. Mm-hmm. So we introduced the kids and we started hanging out. And I heard him ask her, mm. like, and I heard like kids, you know, kids they can't whisper. It's like, so, mommy, is that gonna be like my, you know, who's he gonna be? Like, he wow. go, like, like where he fit in in my life, you know? <laughs> like, cause, like, you know, cause he was like, so, and I literally, he like, he said, so, who, what he gonna be? And she's yes. like, I'm working that out. <laughs> I heard her like, uh-uh, not, not, not give mama time. She's give mama like, time. <laughs> working on that. Be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> He like, is this my new daddy? It. Yeah, like, cause he was, cause it was, he was trying to, cause he was trying to put the pieces together, the relationships, you know. So like, so, cause you know, we we introduced, you know, p- people to people. So he like, so he's figured, like, he's figured it out, and he's like, oh, okay, so you go be, so mommy, is he go? And she was like, if you don't. I'm working on that. This my new daddy. I'm working on that, and I just I I got tickled on the inside. But like he's you know so kids are smarter yeah. than they, than you sometimes give them credit for. So don't try to like you know slide and don't and especially like if if you are dating multiple people, you in these streets. That's fine. <laughs> Do that. You grown. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. You in the streets with multiple people. I ain't baby. mad at you, but don't have these multiple people in front of your children. Do not, because you are setting a horrible, toxic example for them that that you don't want to like. If you grown and you out there with, with, the, with public public p for peace for the peoples, that's fine. That's you grown. You doing what you go do, but children should not be exposed to that. And go get a babysitter. Call call, call their nana. Uh, uh, go get get their aunties and uncles like, hey, he has been they spending night over here for you know, let them do figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But don't be like, I'm just gonna bring him to that. No, do not, do not do that because I think that's a very, very, very uh, harmful thing that you can do for the babies. But like, mm-hmm. and I think sometimes, not to throw the women under the bus, but you just you just driving that bus back and forth. <laughs> but keep going, ladies, don't try to introduce. Yo, 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 youngins to the new dude and try to make this like a ready made family too fast. See, that's that whole dating thing. That's that's the thing. That's so that's what we're talking about. We're talking about, you know, women basically jumping from date one to a relationship, and the guy is still trying to determine if he even like you for real. You know, we put the horse. And I, you know, I'm guilty of it. You know, in my in my more in my more mature stage, I've learned. Even and this is probably gonna sound bad, but even if I am feeling you like that, I'ma scale that thing back. You know, I'ma let me feel this thing out because you know, women we emotional. You know, <laughs> which is the great thing about y'all, which is so awesome about it's, y'all. It's, it's, you it's know, awesome what, stop playing, time, <laughs> stop playing. It's not awesome, and depending on what time it is, you know, your emotions may be a little bit more heightened. Than normal, and so you know, all he did was gave you a sucker, and you just <laughs> a sucker, <laughs> a dumb dumb pop, she a sucker for a sucker, she had a dumb dumb pop. <laughs> Even <laughs> that one, Ooh. Ooh. Got no gum in the middle. Oh. <laughs> it's, the in the middle. it's the tussy roll sucker. Got the root beer float, you know, the root I'm beer flavor saying. one. Oh and lord! It's like, oh my god, this is so special. This is so sweet. It's like because you, you know your emotions are all over the place. I'm using a sucker analogy, but let's be real. You know, women. You know, depending on where we are with our emotions, you know, we could take something that's so small and we make it seem like this dude just did, did the world. And we just like, I'm just about to go ahead and I'm about to just stick beside him. This is it. <laughs> and he over there like, I don't really know. I don't really know if I like her. I mean, I don't know. And I think sometimes emotionally, especially I'll feel like this. If a woman has had 
like she has her own set of children, and that didn't that first one didn't work out. Mm, he gone. That's not coming back. So now you want like you know like most most people you want a family. So now like you meet some young okay he 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 seen quality he got got all his teeth and a job okay all right well, that teeth thing <laughs> Listen. that teeth thing get to a lady right now and then. <laughs> so he got all his pearlies okay he work every day okay <laughs> he ain't got what you ain't got no felonies oh lord have mercy you know so you about to introduce him to the kids on the third day whoa pump breaks do that. that is well, so at least fun. she did check and see if he had any felonies. <laughs> <laughs> I give her credit for that. But that's yeah. a good point that you make, though, because we we will do that. Like we mm-hmm. will compare. Like you know, we didn't hear a whole a whole joke. <laughs> right, right. Oh, and this was no, just be, just basic, but he looked basic. like he go. <laughs> He basic, he doing like he doing minimum. basic stuff. No, we got a and job. We, he the second coming of Jesus compared to that Joker you had. He got no. a job right. in his teeth right. in the old, his old car. Oh, old. Old we like listen here. This one right here. His L's ain't suspended, girl. Mm-mm. He could drive, drive <laughs> even at night. <laughs> 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 See, no, Mm-mm. we need to raise our standards, ladies. This is not standards. it. <laughs> no, uh, but we have to do. We got to do like guys do for real. We gotta, we gotta remove the emotions. I know this is difficult, ladies, but we have to remove the emotions. And that is so true. And we have to be more logical when it comes to dating. You know, we have to really take that time and evaluate this brother. You know, consistency. Let's look for some consistency. Yeah, the last dude you might have been with was a, a complete bum. So let's let's look at some new, like you said, Tinder. We got to change the requirements here, ladies. Mm-hmm. Listen, we cannot. What? what you don't what, think what? we should change what? the requirements? No, I, I, you're saying, I think you should just be you, but don't let your emotions get in the way of you your decision making don't change who you are if you're a sucker for love type of person <laughs> then be a sucker for love type of person but don't fall for everybody you can't a, a sucker for love falls for everybody exactly <laughs> that's what a sucker for love do you could be a hopeless romantic is what i'm saying that's different you can't come out the gate being a hopeless just, romantic just a, a, just be like hey i'm a straight up sucker <laughs> <laughs> My decision making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's smart, but 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 the thing is, and and then. No, 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 no. She's not saying, but she said set your boundaries. Like realize, like listen, just because he. Oh, see, just like a man, all you hear is women. Hold on, what am I not gonna get? Yeah. You know, I mean, we don't want we don't want our young ladies to be emotionally invested too soon. That's that's right. That part right there. Um, Rafik don't like that's that. Not either. what she said. I said be logical. <laughs> <laughs> he said that thing. Then I come in. And I'm the cleaner. Right. That's right. I'm gonna stick beside her. That's what she said. That's what I heard. I don't know what you heard. Right. That's right. What, that's right. what she that's said. What right. Mm-hmm. Can you go work for Kanye then? Because he be saying wild stuff. No, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Kanye gonna have me blocked. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Tasha, you can work with Tasha stuff. Listen, I'm just all I'm saying is I'm not saying remove the emotions completely. Right? Nah, we need your emotions, sisters. We need y'all. Them. Why you need them? Why you need them? Because because that's not ready for them. But go ahead. Nah, not ready, but still need them anyway. <laughs> Why? What do you do with our emotions? No, How does be- that benefit you? Your emotions help us have a, have us uh, balanced because I'm thinking everything logically, and you can come to me with. Oh, a, so you're the only logical one in the room? No, not the only. You said you think everything logically. But, I don't think everything you think is logical. So you can come to me with an with with. Hey, did you see this this way? Because this is how what you just said made this person feel. You're like what? Nah, uh-uh. no, that's how you, when you said that when you did this. This is what that feeling was in the room. You're like, oh, okay. So so that's the emotion part that we tap in with you to help regulate what your what your your logical side. It helps regulate you in that way. We need that's why men and women need each other. Uh-huh. We need each yeah, other. We need, need us a man. No, oh. Ladies, don't act like you don't need a man because, yes, you do. Quit, cut the, I don't care how much of a boss you are. We need our men, especially a black one. Mm. Oh. Well, let's, well, that's, me a that's black a good man. Place. We're going to take a quick break right there. <laughs> 
had a whole nother conversation with somebody at the restaurant, and she said, "We don't need no man." No yes, problem. we. Well, wait a minute, girl. Speak for yourself. Right, <laughs> right. That's what we. Want I live in a family of men, and I need every last one of them. But y'all know what? Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. She was not of um, oh. native color. Oh, well, then that's, a problem. Oh, that's where that started at. That's, that's who started. Always us, but we're going to take a look at No, that's okay. who started. No, that's a lie. That's who started that, yeah, that nonsense. Because I need you know, me you know, a man. People be quick to be like the black we need woman. y'all. They angry. They always tell No, we're not. Uh-huh, yeah. We need y'all. The only time we mad woman is because we don't have you how okay, we look, want. We're going to break. We're going to break. We're going to break. We're going to break. Hopefully, somebody will remember where we left off. Y'all listening to Uncut Uncensored, and we shall be back. <laughs> now you got this man scared in the right. house. Right. And you he didn't panicking. create a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> this man panicking in the house. Right. I'm just saying, I just want my eyes to slightly roll to the back of my head. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, that's that would be Tasha speaking. <laughs> Tinder don't like that. <laughs> Tinder don't want that. Tinder wanna be conscious the whole time. Okay. I'm conscious. I'm just Not really. Not really, you woozy. I'm coming in and out of consciousness. <laughs> See? <laughs> no, no. My goodness, goodness. Uh, wait, listen, y'all, we back. I don't know where we left off at. We left off at we need a, a black man. And black men need black women. There you go. We we need each other. I mean, yeah. people need people. Yeah. So and let me clean that up. Yeah, I was so. doing that one thing, Rafi. I'm back on that one thing where I try to make it politically correct. That's, you know. Yeah. yeah the, the, the concept that... That we're talking about again is like who, how do we approach it differently, men and women, and you start dating, mm-hmm. and yeah, we approach it differently, which is I think that's okay. I think it's is that's because it okay uh, I, I think it's like Rafik said, be yourself, but don't like I think, and I think this though, that bros have every now and again overthought the situation. And you had a good woman, but mm. you're thinking too you much. You fumbled her, and you uh, uh, and you know because yeah, you definitely fumbled her. because I, I feel like you 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 thinking like okay, I think this is I think this one is it, and you're overthinking it. But okay, maybe if, if I pick this one, it's like what's that uh what's that uh that game that used to play uh deal or no deal? We had to pick pick the pick yeah. the pick the curtain. Pick the ca- case, the suitcase. The suitcases, yeah. And you're thinking like, okay, I think this is it. Or and I think that's where that feeling of Oh, you were thinking about let's make a deal. Okay. Yeah, let's mm-hmm. make a deal. So where you thinking like, should I take this one? Or is something better behind that curtain? Mm-hmm. And I think that's where bros get See, caught up. Yeah, yeah. I heard that they, they try that you yeah. all try to look for something better. It's always something better out there. Out. Like, okay, I I got something good. But so I here, could get a little I gotta bit in. better. I want to ask you this before we run out of time, and I want you and Rafik to both chime in on this. When or if y'all ever stop looking over the fence, thinking that there's something better, because women we settle in, we be like, I mean, this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm, you know. When do y'all stop, or do y'all stop? One leg longer than another, but we go. <laughs> exactly. We go. I'm gonna walk on the good side. I don't know. <laughs> I want to know is it the fact that neither one of y'all y'all are. No, we looking? stop. I, I would say I was going to speak for myself, but I'm going to speak, right, for, speak for yourself because I'm looking at Rafik and he like I don't think we ever stop. But go ahead. No, I think I think men do. You eventually stop. You eventually stop looking for something else on the other side of the fence. You do stop. I think the what men have been programmed to do is because you were programmed to go find her. Uh, uh, um, um, a man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. So yes, like, he does. So all right, I gotta go find. I gotta go find. Then you found it. So all right. So now I'm gonna do all this finding training. <laughs> Years of training of being trained. How so to now find you gotta things. go find somebody else. You you, you you don't have to calm down, brothers. Relax. You found what you were looking for. You have found the prize. So what's the next step after you find her? Maybe that's the training you all need. After you find her, yes, you do. Use those same skills to keep her. But hold on, I'm, I'm curious. I, don't lose. Well, you won't lose your train of thought. I'll lose your train of thought. 
So, <laughs> so Kane, you saying because you still didn't answer the question? I did. Answer. So when or do y'all stop? We do. Like you hit a certain point of maturity, okay. and you stop. How how long does that take before y'all stop? Like you got to be into see that face it right there. That depends on that man. That okay. depends on that Third man. Eye. Do y'all stop? I, I I got Kane's take. When do you when do y'all stop? A year in, two years in, five, ten, twenty. I mean, it's people that in the mic. Married, it's the people that marry their high school sweethearts. Can you get in the mic? It's people say. that marry their high school sweethearts and everything. I mean, that's an individual thing. If you find the one, you find the one. Yeah, How do you I'm, know she's the one? You know. Mm. I heard that you all know, yeah. and it don't take long to find out. Our uh, jokes aside, your third eye tells you if you're not listening to third it. Third eye, then, like third eye production. Yeah, <laughs> if you if you don't if you're not, and I think that's sometimes where. Men aren't listening to their spirit, man. They're not listening to their God consciousness that's inside them. If you're not listening to it, or you're doing you're doing so much junk that you can't hear it, that you have something, you have it in your hand, but you don't know because you can't hear what the, what God is telling you through every every channel of the universe that He's trying to tell you this from every radio wave that He's can that He can come across. He's told you. But you can't hear it because you're not you're not tuned in. You're still looking over the fence. You still trying to you still you still turning the radio. You're still trying to find something better. You still tuning that radio and you don't understand like no, he told you this is it, fam, right here. Like stop, stop tuning the radio. You so found frequency. Say, this is this is why I believe that um, women should approach dif- approach dating a little different than how we've been approaching dating. I agree, Rafiq. Always be yourself. However. You gotta withhold some parts because what y'all withholding? <laughs> some parts. <laughs> what? Are, yeah, please enlighten me. Some, what are we withholding? Some parts, you know. Some parts, you know. Parts um, of ourselves. Can, yeah, because the thing is, is that certain parts of you have to be earned. And although the guys don't like it, and the facial expressions are saying it all, they're not going to like it. But the reality of it is they are not giving you everything. They're not giving us everything. They're giving us a, 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 a small portion of their heart. They're giving us a piece of their love. A little piece of it, okay? <laughs> you know, they're giving us some of their time. They're giving us some of They're not giving us any of their commitment. You know, I'm, I'm going to just venture out and say, I don't believe a man becomes fully committed and exclusive probably for about a year. They want to see... You know, you got to let the the, the, the the trickets run off and the the, the, spam, the what the, the, the trickets the, the trickets the, the tricks I'm the sorry. tricks and the trickets you gotta you know you gotta leave some time for the residual to fall off you know let me it take a sure. year for them to fall off no I don't take a year uh, but I believe that before and I believe this is probably for the woman and the man I believe before you fully be like okay you know what I'm gonna go. Maybe not a year, nine, About 350 months. days. See? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you, you don't know what you have. And so you can't go all in with everything too soon because you didn't gave everything and he ain't even, he just decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and be with her. I'm going to go ahead and tell, tell old girl she can't come over no more. So ladies, don't give it all away. You got to hold something. That's my take. Go ahead, y'all say what y'all got to say. We only got a couple more minutes left. Y'all don't like it? That's fine, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ravi, what's your take? Because you look like you want to say something. You, like, take it all the way up to the end, so we don't got enough time to respond. So it kind of sabotage us. You know I mean? Oh, dang. Yeah, she did not. You have, like, 30 seconds. You could say a lot yeah, in 30 seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> so, should, so, so should the ladies withhold or give it all? Of course, he's going to say give it all. No, nobody should give it all, I mean, I man or woman. Six months. Yeah, man or woman, Ooh. and that and bros. Just take your time. Now, I, I'll give you a secret that you can do. If you have the the financial means and you really want to get to know somebody, go on a real trip with them. I'm not mm. talking about going to a resort, like drive cross country, backpack <laughs> across Europe, so that y'all around each other, y'all can get on each other's nerves. Twenty four seven. If y'all good for each other. Twenty four seven is you and them. For, for yeah, in, in a small space, it don't even take across the country. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, sometimes it just take a trip to Florida. I was like, go to Georgia. <laughs> sometimes it might just take a trip to Akron, <laughs> right? <laughs> you in Cleveland, a forty-five minute drive in the car. You know, this is not gonna work. <laughs> turn, turn back around, <laughs> right? We still on two seventy-one. Let me out right here. 
<laughs> Let me out. I got it the rest of the way. <laughs> Listen, y'all, we got to go. Um, thank y'all so much for tuning in. It's been real. Um, y'all listen to Uncut Uncensored. Check us out on YouTube at Relationship Talk. Uncut Uncensored. We out. What it's like to be in love. Hey, tell me what it's like to feel protected when you hug. I've been feeling like I'm stuck. I'm so stubborn when it comes to feel.